What is up, Fruit Gang? What is up, Fruit Gang? Another week, another exciting fruit episode. I have been hunting hard, finding good fruits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get straight into it. Today we have PL de Sapo Melon, aka Christmas Melon, aka Santa Claus Melon, aka Frog Skin Melon, aka Toad Skin Melon. So a lot of name to this big boy. Big boy, it's kinda big. It's like good sized melon. And I have always thought these are the coolest looking melons around. Like they, they look really damn cool. Like green color and some yellow and some white stripes going on. And first things first, how you know this thing is ripe? It should be yellow like this. It should usually when I see it on the store, it's like more green, mostly green and some yellow spots and some these white stripes. But when it's ripe, it should be almost all yellow like this. So I think this is really good one. And it even has opened up a little bit, as you can see. Some nasty some nasty spots there, but don't worry about it. Don't throw your fruits away. There is like still a lot of a lot of good flesh, fruity flesh to be eating if this is good. So yeah, don't throw your fruits away straight when they are open like this and there is maybe one nasty nasty spot or mold. There is still a lot of eatable flesh and you don't want to throw them away. Don't be a little bitch. It smells really weird. Maybe it's because this is the nasty spot. But it, other than that, it doesn't have any scent at all. It almost looks like a honeydew melon, but with some green things and those stripes. Really cool, really cool. And my experience with the Santa Claus broad skin, doat skin, Christmas Piele del Sapo Melon is I have only tried it once last summer I bought them and it was way more green than this like usual they are in stores way more green and it really didn't taste like anything maybe a little bit like sweat or something maybe sweat that kind of like sweaty taste like nothing so I didn't like it at all but maybe this is better because this looks way more ripe and uh, so look out for the yellow ones or get one for yourself when they are green and let them and look if if it does ripen up like this I have had this for five days now so I think it's ripened up a little bit. These melons grow in Spain, I think, mostly. And this one is from Spain. But you can grow them, I think, anywhere where it's warm or... Yeah, warm, sunny, a lot of sun. Wish I was somewhere like that. Yeah, let's open it up. Let's see, can I open it, open it up like this? And let's get into the exciting part. Tasting. And as you can see, there is a lot of seeds in there. So I'm gonna draw them away and you can draw them in your forest near you if you live somewhere warm, sunny, that kind of place. But no way these seeds are gonna start growing in Finland so I'm just gonna draw them in the bio so yeah here it is it's really really juicy and it kind of looks like honeydew melon on the inside it's white and there's some yellow flesh too some seeds still in there I'm gonna draw them away just a minute and the last one I had in the summer definitely wasn't this ripe, so I, I am kind of hopeful this is good because this is really ripe. 
but it smells really weird like mm, not really that pleasant scent but yeah let's just go for it let's just go for it Mm. Mm. It reminds me a lot of honeydew melon Like a lot of honeydew melon the texture is a little bit more It's not that smooth like honeydew melon. It's more crunchy or not crunchy, but like more rough texture mm. And it it has this own taste to it, so it's not like Completely like honeydew melon. It has this oh, oh shit, I'm <laughs> but it has this own taste, like this weird taste that kind of like honeydew melon and gallia melon or cantaloupe melon between the those two. It's not my. It's not like my favorite thing, but I mean it's. It, it's eatable. It's eatable. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's it's kind of like cantaloupe melon or gallia melon and honeydew melon, like between those two, and it obviously looks really cool. Just make sure they are ripe because the unripe one I had last summer was completely shit, and this one is pretty damn okay. Like maybe 7 out of 10. I'm gonna still eat it. It's still that good. So try this Piele del Sapo or Dote Skin, Froat Skin, what the fucking Santa Claus melon. It's it's worth of try. It's worth trying. The more I eat it, the more I like it. Go out there, hunt your fruit and enjoy good, delicious fruits and be happy. See you on the next week.